Okay, so I've now entered uh, question number four, the function in y2. I moved the two to the other side of the equal sign so I could do calc zero instead of calc intersect. Again, it's a preference thing. It doesn't really matter. I put it in y2 so that I'm saving y1 because y1, I, I'm telling you guys, those questions come up for the solver in a minute. So I'm just so I don't have to re-enter them. So I'm going to use the arrow up key to get to the one. I just want to deactivate it so it doesn't get in the way. So F4. And then I'm going to graph. Now, I don't forget, I think we changed the window before. But still, I'm just going to hit graph first. I, I can see that I happen to have all four intersections so this one is going to have four solutions i have all four intersections with the x-axis in the window i could also let's say it wasn't you know i want to go back to zoom standard like from negative 10 to 10 if i wanted to i would then go into f4 f2 excuse me and then use choice number zoom standard is choice number six so hit six there and there you have it um in this case is it better to yeah because i have to kind of capture one uh, in zero at a time. So having it like I had before was definitely better. Maybe changing the window a little bit might be helpful. So I'm going to go in and change the window. Um, go from, let's say, negative three to maybe six. Whoops. Oh, I put minus three. Escape. Escape button, by the way, is right up here. So I should do uh, negative. There we go. And then arrow down and to the number six and then look at the graph. So let's look at the graph now that I've changed the window a little bit. Okay. That's a little bit better. And then again, calc intersect. I'm going to show you one just to review it, but, um, the rest you're going to find on your own. And in this case, I can tell you they're going to be decimals as well. Um, so we're going to round to four decimal places. So in this particular case, uh, what was it? Math, F5, calc zero, choice number two. I'm going to make sure that I am all the way to the left and you can hold down the left key to make it move a little bit faster like that. Hit enter and then move all, not all the way to the right, but now I have to stop before I, so I don't accidentally capture two intersections. So I'm just going to stop right here so that now I'm to the left of the first or to the right of the first intersection, but still to the left of the second one. And then hit enter and it'll give me what the zero was. I'm going to pause it. I would hit pause right now. I'm just going to find all the rest of the solutions so that you can see what the correct answer were. And by the way, just a little aside here, this is y is equal to zero. It's it's just a pixelation issue that it has uh, for yc here. Just so you know, it is on the, the x-axis. So I'm going to just give it a second so you have time to hit pause. Okay, so the three solutions that I have gotten is I got negative 1.372 negative 0 0.562, three, I, I meant four, and 3.562 and 4.372 using uh, calc zero. And like I said before, you could have used calc intersect, but it's a lot more buttons to push. So in this, for the 89, again, I feel like calc zero is actually faster and easier.